Hey guys, welcome to a new vlog. This week I'm hoping that things are gonna wrap up quite a bit. Um, obviously, like I said before, I'm probably gonna wait a little bit before I do the range hood just because I feel like I need a bit of a break. But this week I'm hoping that the painting of the moldings, the cabinet crown molding is gonna be finished. Um, I think it's taking more coats than I expected, but that's okay. Um, and then this week, I'm also hoping to take a bunch of photos. I previously said um, that there are two different companies that I worked with for this kitchen project, and I owe them some photos and some posts and things like that, but I wanted to make sure that it was completed before I did that. So I'm hoping to do that. Also, on Tuesday, so this is going live on Sunday, but on Tuesday, um, there is going to be a giveaway on my Instagram. And I wanted to tell you because I feel like it's something that you guys might be interested in. So let me show you what it is. Look what was delivered. So I'm gonna open that up with you guys right now so we can see what it looks like. I am going to be giving away one of these beautiful faux olive trees. So a company called Arte Planto gave me one of these beautiful trees and they wanted to give me one to give away. So if you head over to my Instagram page, I think the giveaway should be live for a week. So you will have the chance to win one of these and they're such a great decor accessory, especially for dead kind of corners where you don't know where to put things. The pot is my own. So you do need to purchase a pot for yourself, but it's just one from H&M that I really love. And I just think that this looks so great and I'm sure I'm gonna have it for many years to come. On a few little electrical silly things today. Um, so I thought I would quickly show you what I'm doing. The thing that I am working on is this switch controls the outlet that the TV's on. So that's problematic because someone could just flip it and then I mean, I don't really want the TV going off uh, like that. So I'm going to take this off and then I'm going to basically cap off the power. I'm not going to like explain that, but I'm going to put a dummy plate on there. So it's just going to be flat because obviously I can't just get a smaller plate. There'd still be a hole in the drywall. So I'm just going to put this dummy plate on there and it will just be a blank spot. The other thing is um we had an extra one of these we installed one of these on the counter but we had an extra so i'm actually going to switch the outlet there to this one so if you're sitting in those chairs you could plug in a phone or something and then the third issue is the microwave outlet only one of the plugs is working so the reason that that probably is happening is because basically see this little tiny thing right there in between these two screws. Um, so that is sometimes cut when they're split outlets. So basically, if you wanted to run your microwave and your kettle on one plug, you would need them to be on different fuses, I think. Um, so you would cut that so that it's not a continuous circuit. So that's probably what happened in there. However, it is a continuous circuit. So that means that no power is getting to the bottom outlet, only going to the top. So I need to install a new one to make it work. I think that is the best way to explain it. Um, I'm not 100% positive and I'm obviously not a pro, so I'm not gonna show you how to do this. I just thought I would explain some little annoying jobs that I wanna get done today. So I've sanded, I put some caulking, and now I've taped. I just noticed when the caulking or when I was taping, sorry, that the caulking hadn't quite dried. It's supposed to dry in 30 minutes, but because it's kind of humid, I'm guessing it's not drying as quick. So just taking a little break before I give this a coat of paint, but I'm dreading the fact that it's probably gonna take a few coats. I turned around for one second and this little guy is just sitting here and it's so cute. I'm just making some burgers and corn for dinner letting these guys out because it is really nice and everything in here is looking so good super happy with the trim this wall is really cute too 
I've been up to a few not so exciting things this week, but I thought I would still share them. Um, so one being all of the old like security systems. There's at least two old security systems um, in addition to our current security system that are in here that wasn't removed. Um, and it was just kind of irritating me because there's sensors and stuff everywhere. And what I've basically learned is a lot of times they are battery operated. So if you just take the cover off, you can unscrew them, patch the holes, and then they're done. So I did that in a bunch of places. And then one of them was wired, but that's also pretty easy to deal with. Um, if you just Google it, you can figure out how to remove that. And it's pretty low, vo low voltage, so you don't have to worry about that sort of thing. Um, and then, so I patched all those holes and now I can paint them. There's also a little bit of other painting that I need to sort out. Um, and then I also reorganized the cabinets a little bit. So I'll show you that. And I've been hesitant to show you because I know everyone likes things in a different way. And you guys may not agree with how I've organized things, but I'm just trying everything out. I don't necessarily know that it'll stay this way, but I've been enjoying how it is. So one thing that I have noticed is this is where the dishwasher was before we couldn't move it. There's not really an ideal spot to put it. Um, but when this is open fully, this, you can't open this cupboard and you can't open this bottom drawer. And I had stuff stored in this bottom drawer before that was annoying me. So now I've actually switched it to like breakfast stuff. Um, so I have been liking that because obviously when you're unloading the dishwasher, you don't need to use this. Also, I'll just quickly mention, I did try this one. Um, I think I like the cocoa one better. So I think I like fruity first, then cocoa, then this one. This one, while it was kind of peanut buttery, it kind of tasted just very salty. Um, but I will finish it. Um, they're just in here because the bananas are in here because I was just taking photos. Um, it's going to cause some controversy, I believe, but... I really don't like corner cabinets. I find them annoying to keep pantry items in. So I decided I was gonna store my pots and pans in here on the bottom. I've got one of those like racks that holds them upright. Um, I've got extra pans that I use really frequently down at the bottom. I've got the soda stream in the corner because we truly don't use it that much, but my family likes it. And then the top, I've got my like glass bakeware that has lids, my strainer, and other things and i just like that you can easily turn it around and see what's in here i know some people prefer to keep their food in here but i wanted to try something different so that's why i've got it this way then i might change this to be a spice drawer but right now it is my tea drawer with my tea towels because i found that the countertop was a little bit cluttered with a tea canister so now i've got the tea that i use all the time here and then what Chris's family enjoys here. And then this has the hidden drawer, so that's why you can't put anything too tall. Um, with just like parchment paper, aluminum foil, my bowl covers, which I'm still loving. And then these clips, which I use all the time as well. So it would work really well as a spice drawer, but I don't know, I kind of like my tea situ situation and I feel like tea towels, tea goes together. I don't know, I didn't know where to put the tea towels, so that's what they're, they're right there. Um, this is our snack drawer. So that's that. And then this one has like pasta and stuff that is um, kind of pantry staples. And then I think I said before that our bank at has like all of the extra overflow that you would I guess normally keep in a pantry but this way I find it a little more organized and then I had my teacups in this cabinet before but I wanted them a little more accessible just so that no one was breaking any so now I put them on the bottom of my baking cupboard so they're right here and then I've got all my baking stuff in here and then up top I've got like some baking stuff that I truly don't use that often, like birthday candles, special cake making things that I use like once a year, they're way up there. And then in this one, I've got a bunch of like Christmas plates and mugs and seasonal mugs and stuff that I get out once a year. So that is fine. And then in here, I've just got like olive oil, the spices and other things like that. So maybe that was interesting, maybe it wasn't. Um, also up in this lower cupboard, 
um, which is still really high. I have extra baking things that I truly don't use that often. Like I, it's not as tall as the other ones. I can still reach it, but I got like pie dishes, cake pans, stuff that you would use maybe a few times a year, but still not that often. It's all up in here. And then I've got my two baskets. So one has my binders with my cookbooks um, from HelloFresh and just like recipes I printed. And the other one is probably gonna be like a drunk junk drawer. So that is what is going on in here. I really love how this rug looks in here. It's the one that I stole from the front entry, but I do miss it so much in the front entry. So um, I don't know what I'll end up doing there. I don't, I'm not in love with the one that I got for there. So that may eventually go to the basement um, powder room, which I'm hopefully going to do a little refresh on very soon. But that is what is going on here. I placed an H&M home order this week. Um, and it hasn't arrived yet. I think it should arrive next week. It's not too, too exciting. Um, I ordered a bunch of throw pillows. I really love their throw pillows because the covers are so inexpensive. So you can just have tons and switch them out all the time. So if you're ever looking for throw pillow covers, I would definitely keep checking back with them. Um, and then all the other items that I liked, I posted a blog post. I'm trying to post more blog posts. Um, so I linked a bunch of things that I liked there, especially one vase that is so similar to the Studio McGee Target one. Um, it's kind of like a amber brownie kind of color and it sold out so quickly on Target. So I thought the H&M one, since we can't get Target here, is pretty close and I think it'll look really nice. So I ordered that. Um, I haven't been ordering too much lately though, but I am starting to think about what project I want to do next. And I'm really thinking it's gonna be the basement powder room. I'm just gonna give it a refresh. I don't think it'll be very long. And honestly, there's never gonna be a project as big as the kitchen project. Um, so hopefully it'll be more exciting for you guys because it'll be done quicker. Uh, and I do have to do the range hood. I'm thinking in a few weeks that I will do that. But I want, I think I'm gonna make it out of um, drywall, like potentially. Um, because I want it to have a bit of a curve to it. I could use something else, but that's what I'm leaning towards if I do it on my own. So I need a quarter inch drywall because it can bend a little bit better. Anyway, so yeah, thinking that'll be in a little bit. Um, but in the meantime, I'm starting to plan out the powder room. And I was thinking it might be fun if I post it to like Instagram stories and let you guys vote on what I do and like let you guys kind of lead it. I thought that might be fun, but we'll see. I might be too uh, controlling to do that. Today I am taking some videos and photos to send off to All Style, who helped with the cabinet doors, as well as Handstone, who helped with the countertops. They were both amazing to work with, and that's how I managed to use IKEA cabinets, but make it look more custom with the custom doors and also the beautiful countertops. So. Thought I would show you how everything's looking right now and how the crown molding turned out. Till the morning light for you turn away. I just want you to know that I didn't throw your stuff away. Before you make up your mind that I'm nowhere to find. I'm standing right here. I know that I told you we're over. I swear that I'm sober. Just listen, I miss you. And I know that I said all these things, but now when you're with her, I can see that that you miss me. Would you stay till the morning light? Or would you follow me? Or would you let it be if I leave tonight? We could do this. I think things look pretty good and this is now probably our favorite room in the house and we use it so often. I will just put on the TV and sit and hang out at the table or cook and it's amazing. So we're really happy with how it turned out. Um, and of course, one of the last projects will be doing the range hood, but I think I'm gonna uh, take a little break before I do that because I'm really nervous about it. And to be honest, because we used the old range hood and put it up, I think it actually looks fine. It's just this wall looks a little bit plain. Um, we have a new fridge coming this week. Uh, the following week I have someone to come 
look at the oven because I think I mentioned it's like kind of broken. I'm not really sure what's going on with it. Um, but today I am celebrating Mother's Day very late with my mom because on Mother's Day we were still in lockdown and she was spending time with my sister. So I didn't want to combine that many households. So I thought it would be nice if we did something this weekend. So I don't know if you're familiar with Toronto or not, but there's this cute little scone shop called Kitten and the Bear and they do tea and scones and things like that. Um, and I did go there with a friend for my birthday a few years back, but they offer an afternoon tea box that you can either pick up or they can deliver it. So I'm having it delivered. Um, and it's got sandwiches, like little finger sandwiches, um, scones, a cake, a truffle, they give you a little package of tea. So I am looking forward to enjoying that. I'm pretty sure that we will sit in here at this lovely table. Um, if the weather holds up, we might go and sit outside. I know that that was what Finn's preference would be, um, but it is supposed to rain later. So that is what I'm planning to do. Um, and I also took all the photos in here and then I have to take a photo for the olive tree giveaway. So I'm going to do that. So don't forget that I'm doing that on Tuesday. So I'm gonna do the this or that. And then after that, I will share it to my story. So it'll be around seven that I post the giveaway on Tuesday. So anyone in Canada or the US will be able to get a chance to win a faux olive tree. So that is, like I said at the beginning, one of my favorite ways to kind of fill a spot in a room that feels like it's lacking. I also love adding baskets with blankets. And then in this one, I also put some magazines because I thought that just fit, like fit and just made sense. Um, little things like that. So if you guys need one, I think that this one is pretty beautiful. So here is a little setup I made for the olive tree giveaway picture. Um, I took this out for the picture, but I was playing around with this the other day because I'm not happy with the entry, but I want to use this mirror somewhere. And previously when we tried it, it felt too short on its own, but I kind of like the layered mirror look. Chris wasn't super into it, but I thought I would try it. Um, this also doesn't live here, but I was trying to create a moment for this tree and I actually kind of like it. Um, and then here is our TV in here, because you remember I moved the other one to the kitchen. Um, I haven't quite figured out how to change the color settings because it's a newer TV, so the settings are slightly different, but the frame is this color, which matches the wood in this room a little bit better than what was previously here. And my idea is to get a picture that is like this TV, like similar proportions, but a little smaller and put it above. And then I still kind of want to put a sconce there and on the other side. Then I apologize, everything's a mess when I do photos. This is just kind of the chaos that happens. Um, I've had this table for a very, very long time and I don't want to get rid of it, but the color is just not working for me and I do not think I can strip it down. So what my thought is, is to paint it the same color as the kitchen cabinets, change out the hardware that is on it and put it here with one of these underneath. And then eventually we'll have two armchairs and that will kind of be like a desk, which I kind of like the idea of. Chris is always sitting at the dining table and I don't really know that that will change. However, it's a possibility. I thought that was kind of a nice idea to use this and have it be different than this side where it's just that. So I actually might get up to that this weekend because um, it's we have Monday off. And uh, I'll probably put the mirror back here. I'm not happy with this situation. And if you remember, I made this table and it's not the best. So I think I need to put something on the edges to make it finished a bit nicer and maybe widen it slightly. Um, and then I also think I wanna paint it the color of the cabinets because it's just too white. Uh, so that is what the thought is. I thought I would show you what's going on in here. Um, and I will put the tree back in this corner. It just was more pretty like this. While I was getting that photo ready, I had my delivery of my tea. So let's take a look inside. So I ordered two of these. So it's got a little menu. 
and this is how it looks. Looks so good, so I can't wait to have that a little bit later. I'm gonna put them in the fridge for now though. So we've got a cucumber, spinach, and herb cream cheese sandwich. I think this is a strawberry whipped cream goat cheese honey and rose. Then we've got smoked salmon, preserved lemon and dill, white nectarine tea cake, which sounds delicious, clotted cream shortbread, chocolate truffle, and then clotted cream, sh uh, no. Then it's just the scones, and then they sent the tea. So it's super cute. And then this is the company if you're in Toronto and you are interested in picking it up or having it delivered. It's pretty late, but I wanted to wrap the vlog up so that I can edit it in the morning. Um, so after tea, my mom offered to help me finish off the curtains while they looked mostly finished. Um, they hadn't been hemmed, so we got that finished, which was nice. And she also brought a bunch of stuff um, for me because I don't know if I've mentioned it before, she is moving. Um, and somehow both in the same year, my parents have decided to clear out all of our stuff from our childhood and whatnot. So I've been getting boxes and tons of stuff. So, um, let me show you a few of those things. So the first stop isn't mine, but it was my granny's from school in England. And it has all of these cool drawings, which my mom thought might be cool to frame. So I'm actually thinking that that might be a nice idea. Um, so that was pretty cool. And then she brought the wingback chair that I had, um, at university, but also it was in my room as a baby. They had it custom made. And then when I was at university, I got this cover for it. So I didn't want her to get rid of it. So I thought I'd take it here and I'll find a place for it. But for now it is sitting in the living room. Um, and I'm also thinking that I am going to paint this this weekend, so that's why that's still out. But it's just a little bit of a mess everywhere because of all the other stuff that she brought. But i um, not going to bother showing you guys that. Also, I wanted to say that that was one of the best teas that we probably had in North America. Because obviously, um, my mom, being from England and me visiting a lot as a kid, I've had a lot of nice afternoon tea. So that was a really good, really high quality. Each individual piece of it was delicious. Um, so now I'm going to be coming up with excuses to order it again. So I just wanted to mention that, but in any case, I'm going to wrap the vlog up here. I hope you have an amazing week and I hope you're enjoying the long weekend. Yes, I am trying to deal with this cat situation. They keep climbing all over the counters. Anyways, I digress. Bye guys.